Hello, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. So today is a very special day. Today marks exactly one year since I launched the Heavy Metal Journal. So say happy first birthday to the channel. It's the very first anniversary and I cannot believe that it's been a year already. It does not feel like one year ago that I sat down and I recorded, edited poorly and <laughs> posted my very first video on the channel and a year down the line here we are over 2600 of you have subscribed since then and that is absolutely insane to me so welcome to the team thank you so much for all of your support and here's to another great year but today's new metal monday is the last one of the year because the videos that come after this one will be counting down my top 40 albums of 2023 so that's 40 albums all together that i've listed that are my all-time favorites of the entire year split into four videos each video will have 10 albums each culminating in number one of the year so stay tuned for that that will be coming very very soon but today for new metal monday i have four brand new albums that i want to talk about and i'm just going to jump straight in okay so first up on my list i have crucium mentum with obsidian refractions and it's the second studio album from the uk based death metal band and it's their first album that they've released since their debut eight years ago now this is a really cool blend of old school death metal with a lot of technicality and some proper heavy doom elements. Now the thing that I really liked about this album is it's really eerie. It has this very sinister atmosphere about it and it alternates between the really slow foreboding evil moods to really fast chugging absolute insane riffage and real commanding power. There's a lot of evil attitude in this record. It's just really densely atmospheric and really darkly engaging so if you are looking for an old school death metal record that has a really evil sinister dark edge to it this one is for you. So if you are a fan of the likes of Incantation, Morbid Angel, Immolation, these kind of bands definitely get on this one. I really enjoyed this one. It goes hard, it's brutal, it's incredibly heavy, really sinister and it's just an absolutely amazing piece of work. I love old school death metal and this is a fantastic approach to it. Necropolis of Obsidian Mirrors, Scorn Manifestation and Interminable Rebirth of Abomination. These are my favourite tracks of this record. All of the titles in this record, all of the track titles in this record are just brilliant. I absolutely love them. But So definitely check this one out if you are a fan of old school death metal with a bit of a technical edge to it. This was really, really good. Okay, so next up on my list, I'm probably going to butcher the name of this record because pronunciation is not my strong point. And I'm pretty sure I've said that in the vast majority of videos that I've posted on this channel so far, but why break a habit of a lifetime? But I have Lang with Reluo. Reluo? Reluo. I have no idea if that's right or not, but I have Lang with Reluo and it's the third studio album from the Taiwanese atmospheric black metal band. So the themes surrounding this particular record are that of pain, misery, the struggle of trauma and recovery. And this is all born from the near death experience and the subsequent post-traumatic stress that the vocalist and guitarist of the band suffered from. So unfortunately, the vocalist and guitarist for this band was shot in the head during a very unfortunate carjacking. And when he was pronounced medically dead, he experienced hallucinations that he described as beyond hell. And this entire record is a concept record. And I suppose it's a bit of therapy because it's how he coped with the whole situation and the subsequent recovery afterwards. And I think the entire atmosphere and the entire mood of this record brilliantly symbolizes that. This is an incredibly powerful record. This is an absolutely fantastic blend of proper aggressive black metal, some gorgeous catchy melodies, grandiose atmosphere and really dark orchestration. Now throughout this record there are very heavy elements of traditional Taiwanese instruments and the vocals are incredibly tortured, very very powerful and spoken entirely in Chinese Mandarin. This is an incredibly aggressive record yet it's very spiritually emotive and very 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 atmospheric and it really does take you on a very otherworldly journey. It's a proper soundscape, there's so many layers in this and it's an absolutely gorgeous record. I don't really know how to compare them to other bands because I've not really heard anything like this before so definitely check this out if you're looking for something different. If you are a fan of black metal 
with a lot of really cool melodies in it, you will like this. But I think the subject matter really adds an extra layer to this. And of course, the traditional Taiwanese instrumentation throughout it as well is just absolutely stunning. I genuinely loved this record from beginning to end, and it just gets better and better when you go through each track. So definitely get onto this one. I loved this. Okay, so next up, I have Master's Call with A Journey for the Damned, and it's the debut full-length album from the UK based blackened death metal band. Now this record really commands your attention and it's very very clear that the band have taken a long long time to perfectly hone their sound to produce just an absolutely amazing record. This record does not hold back at all and it's really full of character and in-your-face attitude. A lot of horror-inspired atmosphere, it's ferocious, it's brutal, it's incredibly catchy in parts, very atmospheric, grandiose and rousing. It's ridiculously addictive, some amazing blast beats in this, the melodies are just absolutely gorgeous. Soaring solos in this, but the riffage is also incredibly intricate, but it's also very, very heavy at the same time. It's incredibly densely atmospheric, very very haunting and it has a lot of really cool instrumentation and synth. We all know that we like a bit of synth on this channel so there's some synthy elements in this record as well which I absolutely loved and I really do think that when they're well placed it really does add an extra atmosphere and an extra layer to the record which just brings it up entirely. Huge anthems in this record and the vocals are incredibly powerful and rasping. So if you are a fan of the likes of of Necrophobic, Belfagor, Necrofire, you're definitely going to want to get onto this. I genuinely loved the entire record from beginning to end. I went into the profile of the band on Spotify to get the list of the songs that I liked because as I'm listening to the songs on the albums, I'll hit the like button because I'm like, yes, I really like that track and the entire album is in there. So I'm not just going to list the entire track listing. I loved this definitely get on this one. Okay, so last up on my list, but certainly by no means least, I have Sadism with Obscurance, and it's the 10th studio album from the Chilean death thrash metal band. Now this is an incredible album. Reaching 10 studio albums in your career is definitely a huge milestone, but what I really like is they've went back to their roots of old school death metal, perfectly blended in with 80s thrash metal. Now this record just explodes from the very first second, and it can continues to charge with proper in-your-face attitude. This is an incredibly ferocious, brutal record and the guitar work in this is just absolutely stunning. It's so riffy, it's so chuggy and it's guaranteed to get your head going. I absolutely loved this record. Proper chugging riffs, a lot of really cool Slayer style solos, thunderous drumming insanity and the power behind this record and the energy is just so addictive and absolutely unbelievable. I loved this. So if you are a fan of the likes of Early Sepultura, Morbid Angel, Slayer, you're definitely going to want to get onto this. You will be all over this if that's the case. Exsanguination, Lower Astral Entities and Free Will Archangels are my favourite tracks of this record, but definitely get onto this, especially if you really do like Early Sepultura you're definitely going to want to get onto this. So that's it for this week's New Metal Monday and the last one of 2023. I know I said this at the beginning of the video, but I cannot believe that it's been a full year since I've been running this channel, that you've been here with me. So thank you so much. I want to extend a huge heartfelt thank you for all of your support over the last year. And hopefully the next coming years will be even better and I love that you're all going to be there with me. If you could give me a little comment to let me know what you think of the records that I've recommended for you this week and again if you have your own recommendations please let me know because I do check them out. If you could like, share and subscribe I really do appreciate your support as always but don't go very far because I will be counting down my top 40 albums of 2023 really really soon.